Hey guys, Peter from Mojo Strength Sydney, Matraville. Uh, today we're going to look at three common mistakes in the kettlebell swing. Really, really common. The three mistakes that I see the most. If you're a trainer and you see someone doing this, get these fixed first before you start picking all the other smaller details. These are the ones you're going to see the most. Okay. First one, when someone comes in, is they're going to swing the kettlebell with their arms. The easiest way you see this is that the kettlebell is way out in front. So the kettlebell's up there and their hips are still back. Right? Easiest way to fix that, give them a heavier kettlebell. Yeah? What you're looking for is that they are upright and the kettlebell is only centimetres in front, yeah, so they're upright and the kettlebell is here and travelling up, right, the kettlebell isn't up here and the hips are still back, the kettlebell's up here, hips are still back, means their arms are lifting it and not their hips, that's the first one, most common, second one is uh, they, they squat, so instead of hip hinging, it's more of a squat. That's another one you've got to get out of. Just get them to think it's not a vertical up and down motion. It's a horizontal. Hips back, hips forward. Hips back, hips forward. Yeah, power's coming out of the hips. That's the second. And the third one is that they're swinging the kettlebell too low. And it's down here somewhere, and they have to pull the kettlebell out of that hole. I like to think that there's a golden triangle, and it's got the kettlebell has to stay in the back position there, so you can push it with the hips. If it's down here, you have to pull out. So that's your third one. So it's pulling the kettlebell up with your arms. One, squatting the kettlebell, second most common mistake, and swinging the kettlebell too low. So have a look at those three, there are plenty more, but they're the first three you want to look at. Peter, I just drink Sydney. See you later.